Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. This is Luca Torejani, and today we're going to talk about the power of positivity from my uh, disaster of an apartment. I'm having constructions. I've been telling you about this. And things were well, right? We're going well. The floors were put down. The appliances were delivered. And then yesterday they called me and they said, your cabinets are going to be two weeks delayed. And so, of course, I started like panicking. I started saying negative things. Oh my God, why I'm so unlucky. This is never going to end. Look what this mess is. Blah, 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 blah. And you can relate too, right? You had one of those days where the coffee spills in the morning on the counter and then the day starts spiraling down to the point where you say, this is a day of hell. Why did I not stay in bed? But here I am to tell you that it's just a game. And the brain, your brain, it's, out, it's really winning that game. When you start introducing negative thoughts during the day, the brain, which is very smart, tries to simplify things. So it actually, throughout the day, finds you <laughs> the reasoning and the justification of that initial thought. So yes, yeah, here, see, you're never going to get that promotion, see? Oh, look, look. You're never going to have the husband that you want. But you cannot give in. You cannot let the brain win. You can't outsmart your brain bringing in the positivity. There's a couple of ways you could do this. First of all, find a mantra to sort of stand your ground. Mine is everything is going to work out in the end for the best. And when things are spiraling, I repeat that to me, to myself. Everything is going to work out for the best in the end. I have no idea when the end is. <laughs> uh, I want my cabinets now. But if I let go of that control and I follow the path, generally things work out for the best. And I just have to believe in and trust that that best is going to come and manifest at the end. And it generally does. Uh, it's a game, right? So count your blessing. Don't wait until the end of the day to think what happened what good things happen today? Use the day to, to play the game. So when things are happening, they're positive, like, you know, the boss doesn't shout at you. One point, one positive point. Somebody holds up the door for you. Two positive points. It's not raining. It's supposed, it was supposed to, and it's not. Well, three points. And at the end of the day, you'll have a bunch of grateful things to be really, really cheering yourself through. And also, don't only think positive, but speak positivity in the world. When somebody stops you at the gym or the office and you're in a grumpy mood and things are not going well, instead of saying, hi, Luca, how are you? Instead of saying, well, it's been a day or oh, girl, it's, it's only Tuesday. Just reach out for one small thing. It's a game, right? It's easy. One positive thing. Hi, I just finished a fantastic podcast on true crime. What about you? So what I'm trying to say to you is you can replace negativity with positivity. You can bring positivity in your life and you'll soon discover that life is really not about setbacks. Life is about opportunity. When you bring positivity, life is not about what you don't have, my cabinets, but it's about what you already have that is enriching your life. I have a wonderful home where no matter how messy it is, I'm safe and I'm grateful for that. Why don't you give it a try? <laughs> Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Ciao for now.